Hey guys, welcome to my apartment. Let me show you around. So starting off here in the kitchen, so as we walk through the door and if you turn to your right, I have my kitchen here. I love this kitchen. It's a little bit small, but nonetheless, I still do love it. Here I've got my pantry. I'm not going to open it because it's obviously not organized to how I personally like it. And actually here as well, we've got another pantry and just a whole bunch of random things in here. My favorite part of this kitchen is actually the fridge because in my last apartment, um, the fridge was not the best. It was one of those dated white old fridges, but here we've got the fridge hidden away and I just love how big this fridge is. Um, I mean, my fridge is not really organized, but I just like how big it is. Um, I love doing my weekly sort of grocery shops and filling this up. It just gives me so much pleasure, so much joy. So here you've got an island. So this is what my island looks like. I try to keep this as decluttered as possible. I've um, just got a fruit basket here and yeah, I've just got my toaster and my kettle here. Now, one thing I want to mention actually is that this apartment is fully furnished. So when I rented this apartment out, um, everything was provided. Some things I have actually changed up to suit my liking and my sort of personality, my theme and a few things such as the toaster, the kettle, the fridge. All of this sort of kitchen stuff was already provided and a few things around the house that you will see as well. But I will show you and I will actually link some of the items that I personally purchased in the description box below in case you are interested. So yeah, we've got a dishwasher here, we've got my uh, microwave, got a bit of storage here which is nice, so that's always good. We've got an oven on the side here as well, a gas stove top and we've got a little bit more storage. And one thing that I wanna share with you that's my favorite part of this kitchen is actually this light switch here, which I discovered moving in like six months after moving into this apartment. And what it is, it turns on and we've got like this feature lighting, which I think is absolutely amazing. So we've got some backlights here. We've got some lights down the bottom, which looks really amazing and definitely sets the ambience um, towards, you know, the evening, nighttime. So I love turning that on every now and then. Okay, now moving into my favorite part of this apartment, it is this living room. I love this. It's one of my favorite places. I like hanging out here more than any other room in this apartment. So let me take you through everything that I've got. So this chair was already here when I got here. So this is um, the furnished component of the apartment. Um, it's a nice sort of addition to the whole apartment, adds a bit of color. Now, if we look on this side here, this is a couch that I actually purchased myself. The previous couch was not the best so I opted for this white couch it's from Ikea I'll link everything down in the description box as mentioned um, so this situation here the rug the coffee table and the coasters it's something that I personally picked out because I didn't really like the previous furniture it was very dated and very old and I just wanted this space to be very fresh and brighten up the whole apartment this poof here, this little sitting area, I love this as well. So that is something I also purchased myself. Now, if we come along this side, so we have the TV unit. So the TV, the unit, um, the lampshade to the left of the unit is also part of this apartment. I didn't purchase it. And yeah, I mean, look, it does the job. It's not one of my favorites, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it, move on, and um, hopefully in my next apartment, I can get something that I like. Okay, now to the dining area of this apartment. 
This is sometimes where I sit to do work. I very rarely sit here to have dinner or my lunches. So this dining table, the entire sort of set was already furnished as part of this apartment. So that is not mine, but the rug that you see is what I personally picked up. And I just thought it complemented this area very nicely. And you would see the plant there. So the plant um, to the side of the table was also um, furnished as part of this apartment. I selected a clock which I thought just really looked well um, for this sort of area and the mirror that I've got there is another IKEA mirror which I think again complements the space very very nicely. So there is a door here as well obviously because it was previously a bedroom. Um, this is obviously just for privacy but I never really tend to close this door because it's just me. So that is that and behind me we have this little space here where I've got my candle, my diffuser. Um, this unit was already provided as well um, as part of the apartment. The paintings, all of the paintings in this apartment were fully furnished. Um, just got a little handbag there, my microphone. So moving into this study room or my studio, I've got my clothes rack here and I generally just keep clothes that I need to shoot content for. So this is all of that space. Um, I've got my little display unit here with my camera equipment. Um, you can see that this space is a very small, hence why I said I wanted to you know, get a bigger apartment. And I've got my lighting, everything just sort of cluttered around this area. And let's move on to my study table and I'll show you that now. Okay, so this is my creative space. This is where I like sitting and where I'm sitting most of the day. So this is a desk that I actually picked up from Ikea. This is all of my sort of stuff. The chair is obviously from the dining table, but this is my workstation. I've got a screen, my laptop, my keyboard, everything that I need to get, you know, work done for the day. This is a space that I generally also shoot in as well that you guys maybe see on my other channel with this backdrop, the display unit. So now let me take you into my bedroom. So walk this way. So we get through to the bedroom this way, but there is another way, but let me show you my winter garden. I love this space. It's perfect for winter, although I've never actually used it. I think it's just great. It just sort of gives a bit of extra sort of space for me to, you know, separate from the living room. This is sort of a balcony area, which I like. Okay, so this is one way that I can enter into my bedroom. So come on this way. So this is my bedroom. I've got a queen size bed. This mattress is mine. The bed set um, and the frame was actually already provided. The side table, the lamp, everything was already fully furnished. Yeah, my little bedroom here, not much sort of to see, but I've got my money plant here, which I recently moved from the living room into here, and I love that. I like this sort of wooden detailing here as well. Um, I just think it gives off a very sort of relaxed holiday vibe. So if we move along, I've got my wardrobe space behind me, but I just wanted to share this little space here with you because it's one of my favorite spaces um, to get ready. We've got a nice, beautiful mirror. We've got my jewelry there. We've got some storage behind this mirror as well. And I think this is such a cute little space. I know it's like every girl's dream to have a little sort of dressing area to sit down. Um, so I love that. Okay, so if you come this way, we've got my closet here. A lot of storage I have to tell you it's honestly amazing I have a lot of clothes so this works perfectly for me I've got my pants here my shoes here everything is all color coordinated just how I like it and if we go to the next one I've got my tops my dresses again all color coordinated and yeah that's just really what works for me and here I have got my coats jackets um, blazers and here I've just got this little dresser here to store um, little knickknacks so this is also from Ikea I purchased this myself I'm not going to show you the other one because it is a little bit messy so I do actually have a video here on my channel as well where I've done a closet clean out so if you want to see my closet in a little bit more detail I will leave that down below in the description box in case you want to check that out so this is the first bathroom that I personally use it really doesn't have much in there and I would show you but the lights are currently out and someone's actually coming to fix that so I'll show you my second bathroom instead 
Okay, so we're in my second bathroom and this is the bathroom that I generally use to shoot a lot of my beauty videos in just because I like to maintain this and keep it really nice and clean. So I've got obviously there's a bit of a purple thing going on here. I've got my purple towels, um, purple mat and this is what my bathroom really looks like. So this is my makeup storage. It's not organized in the best way, but it works for me. Um, so I keep my makeup in that one. And in here, I just got my skincare, um, my perfumes, and all of that sort of jazz. And if we just close the door, you can see I've got a bathtub here, which I very rarely use. But yeah, nice little area. Um, hardly use this, but that's my bathroom and that is essentially my entire apartment we just went around in a full circle as you saw so yeah very small apartment very cozy I love that this one has carpet just because the old one did not have carpet um, if you're interested in seeing my old apartment tour I can also leave that down in the description box so be sure to check that out and yeah that's it guys I really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to check the description box down below for all of the links all of the items mentioned and that's it guys I will catch you guys in my next video thanks guys